If you're a new driver and wondered how to fill the car up with fuel, then I'm going to show you that it's nothing to worry about and actually quite straightforward. The fuel gauge has a picture of a petrol pump and a little arrow. The arrow points to the side of the car where your fuel cap is, where you need to put the fuel in. When you used to go to a petrol station, you'd have to make sure that the fuel pump is on the side where your fuel cap is. But these days at most modern petrol stations, the petrol pump hose is long enough to reach either side of the car. So it doesn't normally matter which side the petrol pump is. A petrol station has an entrance and an exit. If the petrol station is on the left, then the entrance is normally the first turn. If the petrol station is on the right, then the entrance is normally the second turn. This vehicle is queuing up behind the other one, so I can carefully go around. I'll stop here. Make sure that you drive to the furthest available pump in the line, so that another driver can use the one behind. If there wasn't a vehicle in front, then I would have gone there. I normally stop when I can see the pump in the rear side window lined up roughly where the fuel cap is. I've positioned reasonably close to the pump, but left enough room so that I can walk between the pump and car. Parking brake on, select neutral, and now switch off the engine. Bring your car key or fob with you, plus some kind of payment method. With some cars, you might need to pull a catch to open a petrol cap, or you might need to unlock it with your key. In the car I'm using, there isn't either, and you just have to open this, and that's where you put the fuel nozzle in. Now you need to know if your car requires unleaded, these ones, or diesel, these ones. You mustn't put in the wrong type of fuel. If you don't know, then check the car manual, or sometimes there might be a sticker telling you which fuel. If you need to fill up with unleaded, then you need to check if your car will run on E10, or E5, or maybe either. This car runs on unleaded fuel, and the sticker shows that E5 and E10 are okay to use. Most modern cars will be okay with E10, but check in your car's manual, or with your car manufacturer to be sure. There's also a website you can use to check. I'll leave a link for you in the description of this video. E5 is a premium unleaded fuel. There's also a premium, or super diesel fuel, which is normally more expensive and with ongoing use, claims to clean your engine, improve your car's performance and help it run at its most efficient. If you put in the premium fuel by accident, then you might hurt your wallet or purse, but you won't hurt your car. If you want to use disposable gloves, then they're sometimes available. Here they're on the side of this bin, along with some paper towels for if you spill any fuel on your car. And yes, someone did give me a funny look wondering why I'm filming a bin. Lift the nozzle up a little and pull it out. Let's see that again. Lift it up a little and pull it out. Although your pump probably hasn't been turned on yet, be careful not to squeeze the trigger, just in case. Keep it upright as there's normally a drop of fuel left in it from the previous customer that wants to spill out. Push it in as far as it goes. You might hear the fuel pump get activated, and now you can squeeze the trigger to pump fuel. Similar to the accelerator pedal, the tighter you squeeze the trigger, the faster the fuel will come out. You'll see here how many litres of fuel you're pouring in, the price per litre, and probably more importantly, how much it's costing you. If you only want to put in, for example, £10 of fuel, then ease off the trigger as you get closer to the amount you want, and then release it. I'm going to fill it up all the way, and the pump will stop once the car's full. I can try and put more in, but it will just stop again. 
to take out the nozzle, lift and shake any fuel off. And again, keep the nozzle upright so that no fuel drips on the car. Push the nozzle up into the pump a little, then down so that it stays on. You can see how this part slides down in there. If you've spilt any fuel on your car, then wipe it off with a paper towel as it's not good for your paintwork. If you've spilt some fuel on the ground, then it's important to tell the person in the petrol station. Because it's slippery and especially dangerous for motorcyclists, they will put some sand down on the spill to soak it up. Now screw the fuel cap back on if you've got one, lock it if needed, or in this case, just close the flap, lock the car, and pay for the fuel. You'll need to remember which number fuel pump you've used, as you'll have to tell the person inside which one you want to pay for. I've paid for the fuel. Now, before you move off, and as you drive towards the exit, which is straight ahead, it's important to look around for other people, especially other drivers pulling away from their pump at the same time as you. Look over your blind spots, and be careful. If you've ever wondered what all these dashboard warning lights mean, then have a look at this video next. Thanks a lot for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found it helpful. In the meantime, keep safe on the road and bye for now.